Over a month ago at this point, we saw a brand new sniper rifle leaked in game that was dubbed the Mini 14, and at the time, everyone assumed that this new leak meant that a new mini contraband event was due up in the near future. However, as we approached the end of Operation Grand Heist, there was still no sign of the Mini 14 or even some other potential DLC weapons that we all assumed we'd have by this point, which then raises the questions, where are these missing DLC weapons? How are they coming to the game, and when are they coming to the game? All of this and then some we'll be talking about today. What's up guys, Zach or Immortal here, welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. If you are new here and you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest Black Ops 4 news, leaks, rumors, and other information, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when a new video goes live. And if you do enjoy this video, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it does really help the channel out. Now, like I said in the intro, it was over a month ago when we got our first official images of the Ruger Mini 14 sniper rifle within Black Ops 4 thanks to Josh Wu Cool's Reddit post featuring a video of the sniper in a live action mini trailer similar to what we saw promoting the Cap 45 when the Barbarians event went live near the end of Operation Absolute Zero. Speaking of which, the Barbarians event back in Absolute Zero launched with right around 28 days or 4 weeks left in the operation, giving players plenty of time to naturally grind out one tier a day with that daily tier skip. However, that 28 day or 4 week mark here in Grand Heist would have been April 2nd, at least over on PlayStation 4. Obviously though, that day came and went, and no Mini 14 sniper rifle was to be found, and no Mini Contraband stream was introduced into the black market. And that, that was really the, uh, the tipping point of the iceberg, if you will, because everyone's major assumptions came down to April 2nd, or that 28 day mark, being the last big chance at seeing the Mini 14 introduced within Operation Grand Heist. And I think just before then as well, we also saw the image pertaining to the Mini 14 in Zombies find its way to the surface, where we then saw the official name listed as the Vendetta. But despite all of that, still no new sniper was introduced into the game, and still no new mini event was introduced into the black market. Which then brings us to present day, where here we are sitting currently just under 20 days left in Operation Grand Heist, which poses some interesting issues when it comes to the potential release of the Vendetta, because as the track records show, any and all ranged weapons that we've seen introduced as DLC here in Black Ops 4 have come to the game through either a full-blown operation like First Strike, Absolute Zero, and Grand Heist, or through a mini-event stream like the Barbarians event. In no way, shape, or form have we seen any kind of ranged weapon introduced into the game through a paywall. And thus, having the Vendetta come to the game through some kind of triple play or some other bundle, or even as a Blackjack's shop item, seems very unlikely given the history and the nature of the black market. So, what exactly does this mean for the Vendetta? Are we ever going to see it come to Black Ops 4? That, I gotta say yes, I mean, the big question really is when. And that is where things get even more interesting. Right now, my first assumption would be that the Vendetta would come as a new DLC weapon in the next operation that'll be launching on April 30th just because we haven't seen it yet. However, in full, that really still does not make sense to me because there are so many little teases and hints at the Vendetta within the Grand Heist promotional material alone. For instance, it appears in the original Grand Heist reveal trailer multiple times, and it's even been seen by every single player that has ever logged on to Black Ops 4 since Grand Heist started, because right there on the main loading screen for this operation, you can clearly see the Mini 14 being held by Seraph. So really, everything is pointing towards this weapon being released within Operation Grand Heist, and now here's how I kinda see the situation. This weapon was leaked a pretty long time ago, let's be honest. It's plastered all over the Grand Heist promotional material and everything else that was leaked alongside it, including the Demo Hammer, the Zero-G Cordite, and the Death Reel Camo have all been released. So it makes the most sense to see this released during Operation Grand Heist. So that said, here's what's on the table. Like I mentioned earlier, we have just under 20 days left before Operation Number 4 starts. 
If the Vendetta Sniper is coming during this operation, I would say our best bet is either that 15 day mark or that 10 day mark strictly based off of tier thresholds. That meaning we either have a 10 tier event or a 15 tier event. To me, it'd be kind of weird to have like a 7 tier event or a 12 tier event, something of that nature. 10 and 15 just seem a little bit more casual and friendly. So that 15 day mark is going to land right on Monday, April 15th. But even with that, there's still some complications. Mondays are not notorious update days. We have seen some stuff released on Mondays in the past, but Tuesdays are typically the go-to update day for Call of Duty. And with that, if this weapon were to be released around that time frame, I would say Tuesday the 16th might be a little bit more likely. I mean, the timer could still work for a mini event comprised of 15 tiers, but either way, the 15th or the 16th would be my number one guess. The second option would be a shorter mini event that could maybe launch on Saturday the 20th and consist of 10 tiers. But that'd certainly be an anomaly since hardly ever do updates actually get pushed out over the weekend. So that once again points more towards that 15 day mark being my last reasonable guess for a mini contraband event to come to the game. If that time comes and we don't happen to see the Mini 14 introduced, I'm honestly going to be completely lost at that point, so really then, your guess would be as good as mine. But let's stray away from the Mini 14 or the Vendetta here for a bit, because oddly enough, the Vendetta is not the only missing DLC weapon here in Black Ops 4, at least on the multiplayer front. We've seen a trend in the past that DLC weapons in multiplayer, for instance, the Rampage and the Switchblade, extend further than just multiplayer as you can actually find and equip these weapons in Blackout. And the same goes for all the other various DLC weapons as well. But something that I find incredibly weird is that it appears that this system does not work in a vice versa scenario. We currently have two weapons that are available in Blackout that are not usable in multiplayer in the MP40 and the Grav, or the Galil. And by the way, I have no understanding of that name change there. I do not get why they did that. Anyways, to me, I don't really get why we don't have the Galil or the MP40 available in multiplayer if the weapons are already available in other modes. Obviously, they don't have attachment compatibility in Blackout, but even then, I feel like that's not an incredibly huge ask. Keep in mind, I am not a game developer, I understand nothing of the sort, so perhaps it is harder than I imagine, but the weapons are there, they have full renders, even every single camo can be applied to these weapons, including the reactive camos like Plasma Drive and Soul Eater, so to me, not adding them into multiplayer is just kind of a waste of some decent content, or some potential decent content. Now, here is where I do have to preface, yes, I would love to see both the MP40 and the Galil introduced into the multiplayer portion of Black Ops 4, but since they are reskins or remake weapons, I absolutely do not think that they should take up tiers within an actual operation, and instead should really just be some sort of universal addition to the game, or at the very least introduced in some sort of throwback mini event where maybe we could see the MP40, the Galil, and some older BO2 camos like Weaponized 115 or Afterlife or something of that nature available in the tiers as well. And honestly, now that I think about it, that could actually be a really cool mini event. Have a throwback mini event with the Galil, the MP40, and a few other throwback camos too. I'd be all in for that. That'd be actually really cool to see in my opinion. Anyways, on top of that, more weapon diversity and variety is never going to hurt a game like Call of Duty. Especially here in Black Ops 4 where we have such strong class-based metas with the Rampart and the Maddox and the KN really being the go-to assault rifles and of course the SOG being the primary SMG, adding in weapons to ideally distract from those metas and also diversify the weapon pool a little bit in no way shape or form is a bad thing at least in my opinion. But like I said, if these weapons are to come to multiplayer down the road, I really hope Treyarch would introduce them via a global update or something outside of an operation because to me, operation weapons should be new, unique, innovative additions to the game and not remakes or reskins. Everything summed up though, we essentially have three missing DLC weapons here in Black Ops 4, none of which we really have any solid answers about besides the fact that we know they are in the game and capable of being put into multiplayer literally at any given point. Outside of that though, there's a whole lot of question marks floating around in the DLC weapons department. With that being said though, that is effectively going to wrap things up for today. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like on it as it is much appreciated. And if you guys are brand new here to the channel and you want to stay up to date with everything Black Ops 4 related, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when a new video goes live. 
Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.